Hello everybody, it's Boaz Fader. I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for the beginning of the week, May 30th. This is Monday of 2016, May 30, 2016. So, interesting energies to start your week with. The moon is in Pisces and it's on the south node. We could be nostalgic today. There's a lot of imagination, there's a lot of fantasy. Very, uh, 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 very sensitive today and a lot of intuition, a lot of intuition. This is a good day to listen into your intuition. This moon is sextiling Pluto and this is a good thing making us comprehend how much inner strength and power we all have even though we're so sensitive. It is a, a conjunct Chiron around 1600 hours Central European time that's around 10 hundred hours Eastern Standard Time and this could be a good time, this could be a bad time. Anyway, it is a time in which we are in touch with all pains and aches within us or within people in our life or, with, or within people that are close to us in our lives. And this could be a time, you know, with this very sensitive, intuitive mind that we're having. And, 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 and uh, remember that Mercury is trining Pluto, we have an inquisitive, deep probing mind. Uh, we can really utilize this energies, our sensitivity on one side and our uh, um, deep probing mind on the other to heal, heal places within ourselves or within other people uh, that are close to us and, and, and tend to places that are hurt and, and bring really uh, uh, something beneficial and, and, and really um, a sense of completion and a sense of, of, uh, of losing some of that extra weight and going on lighter into our futures. But this could also be in time that we are very much in touch with pain and this emotionally could be straightforward. There is a trine to Mars at around 2200 hours Central European time, that's around 1600 hours Eastern Standard Time, promising energy, assertivity and a zest of life. This is a great time to take your projects ahead. This is a great time to be active. And, or, you know, we could just utilize this to do uh, um, things that Mars likes to do. I'm not talking about fighting. I'm talking about using your lower chakras. And this could really feel nice uh, uh, this afternoon in the States or this evening in Europe. Eh, but when doesn't it? So, the sun is squaring Neptune during the next few days. This really can throw us off tracks and, and give us a, a feeling of anticlimax. This can make us a little bit confused or a little bit down and again extra sensitive. As I said, these are days to keep your emotions in check. Be aware of them, see that emotional process unfolding, but use your higher mind to navigate. And if we need to slow down during the next few days, that is okay. We've been so active during the last couple of weeks. So allow yourselves to rest a little and take, take things into an inner scope and, and let that inner spear work. This is, you know, an inner process that needs to mature before we can give birth to it again in our lives. So thank you for everything. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your feedback. You can always share my videos. I would love that. And I'd love to hear from you. This is Boaz Fader. Goodbye.